Hey guys, this is Steve. I'm checking in with you at Bass Musician Magazine. Today we're going to be looking at the Epiphany Piccolo Head. It's a new version of that. And also the DIST Series 112 cabinet with the dual impedance. This is a really cool cab. I can't wait for you to check it out. It allows you to kind of like bounce between a two cab setup or a single cab setup by flipping between the switch between four ohms for a single cab and eight ohms for a dual cab setup. The amp itself is very powerful. I'm going to give you all the information, the power rating, actually going to happen right here with weight and everything. Okay. So the cabinet is a beautiful cabinet. It has a great Tolex finish. It feels great. It, it's easy to lift. It's not super heavy. It's not super light, but it's somewhere in between. So it gives you that. It feels like a base cab. What I have here set, the way I have this set up today is... I'm running this kind of flat at the moment, and I'm using I'm using the Music Man Cutlass today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through some different settings on this, and I am gonna run it. I'm gonna record it through the camera that I have, but I'm also gonna run a line off of a mic. I'm using the Shure mic, and we'll have a nice sound. And here we go. Hey guys, so this is the Piccolo. It's a piece of handcrafted Hi-Fi Studio gear. It is rugged. It's road ready. It's a really incredible bass amp. Every detail has been meticulously engineered to ensure you're able to dial in exactly the sound you want in any situation. It's an incredible little amp. You're going to love it. It's really laid out perfectly. Remember, less is more. So when you're dialing this in for your perfect tone, keep in mind just how powerful the Piccolo's controls are. From what I understand, Nick recommends that making small EQ shifts at first. So when you're really setting this up, you want to set everything flat, and let the amp will, will produce its aural picture for your bass. It allows you to kind of dial in your strings and your hands and make sure you're finding that right sound because you're tuning the amp just like you're tuning your bass. You might find that those small adjustments are perfect for your tone versus large adjustments that you might see in some other companies out there. Also recommended is that you experiment with the bass cut, cutting those mids, the trebles, the bass, the boost. Sometimes the short, little short distances between your perfect tone is, is taking out a little bit of the bottom a little bit of that boom can cause a hollow stage sound or bark. So what I'm doing in here is, because this isn't my studio, my studio is set up mostly for teaching and I shoot some videos in here, but what I do have is one of those Oralex pads, so the cabinet is removed from the floor. Because the 112 cab that I have on here right now is the DIST 112. This cab is a very powerful cab. Everything that we see here is a really, really powerful setup. So what I did was... I did separate it, so I'm not going to get the coupling of the floor, because the coupling of the floor can be kind of an issue, and when we're doing that, we don't want to find ourselves in a situation where we have too much, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run my Music Man through this. Now, my Music Man is set up with a set of flat wound strings, so it's going to be, it's not going to be as bright as a set of round wounds. I currently prefer the Music Man with the flats. I'm going to give you some different samples, and I am going to start with everything set flat here, like the, like the manual recommends. I have the boost cut off. I have my, my gain set. Uh, I did check the gain before I even started this to make sure that it wasn't peaking. I want to find it just that perfect spot. I'm going to set my volume low. Now, I do have my mute on my front, and I also have my vintage, EQ, my vintage setting. The vintage setting is going to allow us to really kind of like dial in that tube amp kind of sound. And the 112 cabinets are always incredible from, from Epiphany. They're, I've always, always been a big fan of Epiphany's 112s. I would stack several of them. They sound great. They're really portable. These cabinets are not the exception. It's a really awesome setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this guy on. I have my mute set. So we got and the next the step is the plug-in. Plug I have the mute off. I have the vintage off. Right now I also have the mid cut completely off. The EQ is set flat like Nick said. And what I want to do is I'm going to play around. I'm going to do a lick and see. Okay. So I am going to dial up the bass a bit. Remember we said about small movements. Okay, 
some of this mid-range. There's a big change right there. So I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a big change in the spectrum of that note, just as that C rings. You hear that? So for me, for me to find my sound, and this is kind of the deal with this, is find where your sound, lies, where your sound lies, is going to be the matter of those small movements. step would be kind of playing with that treble a little bit. So it really is micro adjustments to really get that. Now one of my favorite parts about this amp, and I'm a tube guy, I love tubes, and uh, sometimes I see this, this vintage button on some of the other amps, I'm like, well, you know, quasi sounds like it, it sounds like something, it doesn't always sound like tubes. of tubes that I'm looking for and that's a big part of that is that real roundness so as I'm dialing that back and forth I want to make sure it sounds like it right there so now I have the vintage engaged my next thing that I really haven't touched on yet was this mid cut now remember I do have the amp set in the 4 ohm setting I do have the option of 4 ohms versus 8 ohms. In this case, I'm going to leave it in 4, but I am going to engage the mid cut. And let's see if you can see that right there. I'll bring the camera in and we'll slide over a little bit. So the mid cut is now active. When I turn it off, turning it on, it has a light that shows that it is engaged. That's not really something I would focus on. I kind of had to, you know, dial it back and forth there a little bit to see how that lines up. I do like the way 
the cabinet sounds. It's got a very, very fine-tuned, warm, yet hi-fi kind of vibe. So finally, just to review, we have our passive active, mid-cut, moving over, we have our mute and our vintage buttons, along with our three-band EQ, large volume knob, and our mid-cut and, and gain set. Next up, final I review. I swear by my 112s from Epiphany, great cabinet. The Piccolo is an exciting head. I think you're going to have a lot of fun playing with this cabinet. Remember, if you have a rack, it does come with the rack ears. You stick that on, shove it in your rack, and you're good to go. You have that tube emulator with that vintage setting, which is going to give you a whole lot of, of warm, tubey goodness. The amp sounds great. So, guys, definitely check it out. Thanks for hanging out with me, and thanks for hanging out with Bass Musician Magazine. Remember to check back frequently. There's a lot of good stuff coming. Be good. See you out there. Peace, love, and love.